until Scarlett and want me to do an intro. That's it. Okay. Are you happy? <laughs> What's, you're, happy? What? you're happy about the intro? Are you? Oh, I'm good. I'm okay, good. so today we are going to be talking about worse dates. So that's what we're talking about today, Kay? Yes. Okay, cool. You don't want to talk about that? Of course. Do you have a good date idea? Worst date? All right, let's do this. Let's talk about good date and what you think a great date would be. So the first thing, worst date. Worst date you've ever been on. What you mind up there, sir? Just Jesus. Oh what? Yeah, look, hold on. But someone must look for him. look for him. He was like, "Missing Sadie Lee and in just in the booty bed door." So hold on. So anyway. So the man did kiss you on the door. Okay, no. You want to turn up another piece? Yes, because in their public place, a piece. It is supposed to look alive and well. <laughs> Obviously, Anyways. this is not a PG-13 video. So, okay. So now, we want to talk about... Let's get back to it. We want to talk about what again. Date. You were the one that came up with the idea. Okay, so we're going to talk about the worst dates that you've had. Well, I've had. You've had. Mine is pretty short. Mine is pretty short. So, do you want me to go ahead and say mine first? Or you want yeah, to say Yeah, sure. You, go ahead. Okay, so one about, should I go in years? Some time ago, because I'm not good with dates, it's fine. We just live. So some time ago, what, what's that look for? <laughs> so, couple of years back, years ago, couple of years ago. Centuries ago, it's ancient. I went on a date with this guy. Okay, so this, the start of the story is this guy's been asking me out, asking me out, asking me out. Every chance he gets, every time he see me on the street, he keeps asking me out. And my answer is always the same. No. Because I'm not interested in the person, neither, you know, as a friend or anything, because I'm not looking to be friends with that person. Because I don't think we have the same kind of personality or our personality would match. I mean, as social friends. So he kept asking me, so I get so tired of it, I end up saying yes. After saying yes to him, we, he planned the day and, you know, he said it's a lunch date. So he planned the day and I said, so what's going to happen? Um, where we should meet? He's going to pick me up. He's going to bring me everything. So I said, okay, no problem. I can meet you in town and we can go from there. I asked him, where exactly are we going to go for this date? Because I don't like to eat everywhere. And I don't like to eat everything. So he asked me. I asked him. He still didn't want to tell me. So he said, I'll be surprised. So anyways, I take it up on myself and I drug myself along, went on the date. We went outside of Montego Bay. We were in Montego Bay, but outside of the town. So it's, you know, look at it here. So when we went there, we went to a small shop. It was fine. It was okay. It was near the highway so I wasn't afraid like if anything is going to happen and this is in the daytime so as we got there the guy came in and he didn't ask me remember he asked me out on this date he didn't ask me do you want what what I wanted so I didn't say anything I just waited he went up to the counter he ordered his food he ordered one fried chicken you know if, if you're a Jamaican, then you know you get the coffin. They call it the coffin box. Yeah, coffin box. The coffin box. It's shaped like a coffin. That's why they call it coffin box. So, 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 so. Wow, go on, Dan. Yeah. That's why they call it coffin box. Yeah, for real, real, real. So, anyways. Right, that way. We, we went to the, he went to the corner. He ordered that meal. At, at that point, that size meal is like a medium lunch back in the day. It's not like a large. It would be like a medium because they have a bigger box to that. So we sat down. He got the meal and we sat down. The guy, I'm still waiting to, uh, for him to ask me, so what do you want to eat? He didn't ask me. I didn't mention anything. He opened the, back, the box and he started to eat. And then when he was into it, 
he handed me the box. I share my share meal, but you yes. eat for sake. But you know what? I would, I would much rather. First, hold on, first date. Yes. <laughs> you see, the guy order a million yes. box food. Oh, God. Sit down, and he don't even offer yes. me it first and say, alright, me eat what she don't want. Woo. He eat out the food God. and then hand me the box. So, so, so I sat there and I'm like, I'm not hungry. I couldn't come up with anything else. I just say to him, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not hungry. <laughs> Remember, right. I don't know this person like that. All right. He eats and he wants me to eat out of his mouth and anything. I mean, if you cannot afford it, then be honest from the beginning and say, you know what, I want to take you out on a date, but I can afford to pay for my meal. I would have no problem with that. I would respect him more. I would eat. Actually, I feel insulted. I would rather him say to me, you know what? I cannot afford it, but you know what? Because people can be on hard times, and you can't just be, no, you know. No, but like, all right, you, you're listen. This is what I don't get. You're on hard times. You have no right looking a woman. You're going to need to buy a condom. You're going to need to possibly buy a man in after. You have to spend gas, go pick her up at her house. Drop her back at her house and all that. That's an added expense you hold don't on, need. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold let on, me finish. No, no, let me just finish. No, 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 let me finish. Let me finish. These are all added expense as a man you do not need. In fact, if you're the pan hard time, you don't need to have your vehicle, but sell a vehicle so you're not the pan or hard time. Was that it his vehicle? I think he was driving a vehicle for a company or something. Alright, oh, that way. Yeah. Like, yeah. Alright, cool. So Yeah. Uh, so but I'm saying you said a while ago that if a guy doesn't have money he shouldn't be looking a woman no that's that, that's that, that, all right. that can't be right all right so l l l l l let me make this clear uh -huh. all right i understand what you're saying hold on i understand what you're saying but at the same time so you're saying okay because he's broke he's not supposed to look all right so else. so let me ask you this mm -hmm. you're on our times right mm -hmm. and most of the times most of the times females that you look that you're going to approach are going to be either on the same level or below where you are 95 mm percent -hmm. of the time so you're going to approach a female that's on the same level that means she's on hard times you're going to all right you guys get into a relationship so when you get into a relationship let's say you get into a relationship you guys even you're being smart so you're using protection you understand so you use protection let's say that condom broke do hold you on. have money to get morning after? Hold on, hold on, Carlos. If you don't get morning Carlington, after, now on. a child comes into the world, pan two, somebody will have hard time. I understand what you're and saying, And a Carlington. lot of the time, these guys are not into you, into the females. Let's be honest about that. They just want to nush. Then you just look good and they want the pumps because guess what? If me into you, no matter how me the pan hard time, my girl, a three hundred and fifty dollar play for food. If me must can't find one thousand dollar. Back in the days, um, KFC, I did a hot date. Yo, but I one thousand. No, though. no, no. You wouldn't. But I have brought females on dates to KFC. I got you to drive through and get KFC because guess what? You know, it's a thousand dollar can't get it to one or meal. And those females, are, you know, say so you buy them at KFC and you, you know, you're gonna you get where you get. But at the end of the day, at least have a thousand dollar, brother. You don't have a thousand dollar. Why the hell? Why the hell am I going to invite a female out? I'm gonna have a thousand dollar. I can buy two box food and put on top of that at the coffin box. Like really? Like, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like. You see, and these are. I have to blame females you now because these are the things a female put up with. And then, cause if you never do it to no female before. He never think say it would have been alright for you. Cause nigga you can't alright in your head and I tell me say I think that alright. Anyway, you know what I may get too emotional about this. Yo, make me move on. Okay, so as, as you there, there's something that you said. Are you go on a date and I mean they get emotional about it? You know what? I, I didn't eat it. So and you know he what? didn't get a second date. 
Oh, you, you blo- he did blow not get a second date. You're lucky. But as I'm Yo, saying... You should have feel the box food in your face. I'm going to walk or take one care and go. No, I'm not going yard. to be that. I'm not that kind of person. <laughs> I'm not that kind of person. So I'm not going to insult him because I don't know what situation he's in. I don't know you, if he's you know on what? a hard time. I understand what you're saying, Carlington. I understand what you I want to talk about my day. I want to talk about my day. You said something that I want to talk mm-hmm, about, mm-hmm, though. You mm-hmm, said, mm-hmm. if I, got, I understand all the points that you make, and mm-hmm. I totally agree with mm-hmm. some of it, but at the same time, if a guy doesn't have money, you said he shouldn't be looking anybody. I mean, that doesn't make sense. You only look off somebody when you have money. So how let, long is that relationship going to last? Let, it's let, based let, on let, money let, then. Let's, 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 let's be honest. Let's be honest it's about it. It's based on money. All right. Okay, so, so that means you're looking at a woman that is not independent like, then. No, eh? No, all right. Then you're there, looking at a woman that is you not go. independent. There you go. There you go. That's the thing also. That's the thing also. Because guess what? Nigga, even if she independent... If you did not make this agreement with her, because that's a thing, you know, uh-huh. he, as you said, he did not approach you and said, hey, I like you and I want to take you on a date. But really, this is kind of embarrassing. Really, the point of times, can you pay for your meals? And if you agree because he's someone that's genuine and you think, yo, that's kind of manly. I mean, I know how yeah, man Yeah, I go home and fry some chicken and cook some rice and take it to the park and we have a date. I mean, I know how a man would have think that manly, but okay, fine, cool. Because you, you do it, you He's do it. He's being honest. No, He's but yeah, but, yeah, 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 all right, cool, fine. Like under, he but he, but he that, this, this thing isn't that, none at all. I know. My point I know. exactly. I know that. All right. So listen. So with this, with with that done and said, let me tell you about the. Um, so I have like two worst dates. So one is by a female friend of mine. She, she yeah, she always a cuss about man man no know if you treat her. She do this woman, but she, she always a complain. So I said I'm gonna invite you out on a date, and you know it's gonna be special and whatever. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna take you to some place now. Some man always this is a business woman. She always a chat to some drunker. Me not telling no lie because she's normally attracted to tall guys that are balleded, and those tall guys that are normally balleded and supposedly have big, you know what, are normally them those worthless because them things that them a god give to woman. Anyway, long shot to the story. I like call me. I'm no. This is on the date, off the date, about 30 minutes in t- where we should have already been at the restaurant where the reservation had been she made. Was late? Yeah, she was late. I bet she's liberal. She, she, me not even know, you know. <laughs> me not know, you know. She called me, I like calling town. Um, when we go and do come, we call a girlfriend of mine, and she says she not sure, and I want go couple restaurant down there, so, okay. and at this a time, yeah, at night, so you can't tell me how way. And me, I like, I'm like, yo, B, man, carry up on a date. Why you even would be calling a friend and asking a friend, like, oh, the fuck? Like, what the? No, but just know, car, oh, no, man, oh, no, word. Like, oh, no, man, what the hell? Like, yo, you know what? Forget about it. Yeah, forget about it. It's about you 15 minutes. Like yeah, like, forget about it. Why? Like, listen, this is what so I don't just, like. So you just. The, no, no, hold on, hold on, you... hold on, hold on. No, forget about it. Forget about it. No, come now. Forget, forget it. One of the things I do not like, mm-hmm. if you told me that you're treated a certain way and you go through certain things, I'm saying, all right, we're going to show you a different thing. You see, the very minute you start putting me with everybody else and them something there, we annoy the shit out of me. I not even been on the date yet. For, for anything, if the date F up, I you mess up the date because you are late. You understand? Mm-hmm. And then you call me and nag me about where we go. I'm like, I'm like 20, 30 feet, 50 feet away from the, from, from the restaurant. Where you there, you're still there, you're yard. You're not put on clothes yet. And I call me and I talk about, yeah, I talk to friend. Like that come and she was there, she like, yo. And you know what, I'm going to be honest with you. You know, the date would have been much better if the argument never happened. And if you went just answer and tell me, I'm like, no, I just peer punk ass nigga, I peer punk ass nigga, you're brown, and that's why you're like that. Okay. And that's why you're treated like that, and you accept it, or not accept it, but you're used to it, so you just class every man, and you're not expected 
you're not expected to be treated different i'm telling you i'm gonna show you how you're supposed to be treated as a woman but nah she actually, um, but that guy don't get it. So what was so bad about the date? It's no, because, because she no the date the date yeah the date the, yeah the date was spoiled before. So even while she was there and she's trying to have a conversation and laugh, like my mind like yo yeah. the vibes went done broke her. She like I'm at a stage in my life and I've said this to females. You see me talk to you, and if we're going to date or if I'm interested in you, no matter how you sexy and look, you determine how I treat you. By the way you treat me with respect, the way you talk to me, the way you address me, the interest you show. Listen to me, my girl. If you do what you're supposed to do, you're not have to open your leg or nothing, my girl. You can't get house care and land out of me. And up to no brother, not even know what color underwear you're wearing. It's all up to how you go about the thing and how much respect you show. Respect is given where respect is what's coming from, you understand? how you treat how you talk like do you it, is your two minutes your two minutes is your nine o'clock your nine o'clock it, it, it all has to do with things like that my nine o'clock is, is never nine is your actually my nine o'clock my nine a.m is nine p.m i always tell us that you're a unique type of your niche of people them different me tell us you're different you know but I'm Libra. so me tell us um, the second other times females don't know this they start to do things and so when the guys start lose interest, that's when they get interested in the relationship. When mentally me kind of exit the relationship already. But then, now you're interested and now you're doing what you're supposed to do. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to get some and cut because at the end of the day, you know, it makes sense. Men do up. I do all of these things before. I and a, so at least let me get something out of it. And I'm going to be honest. A lot of the times, that's what happened to a lot of females because them not understand that like if a guy looks in looks into your eyes and say i'm interested in you and only you believe him or not all you need to do is take his word and make him prove it to you by his actions he'll prove it to you if he doesn't mess up if he not give you red flags if you not do something that's out there then you have no reason to not to believe this person or to group him with a other bunch of people and you don't have no reason to do that. Yeah guys, so that's it. Nice to talk to you guys. Next night next I don't know when she's going to invite me back to her channel. But um You're the next, always welcome, don't worry. Within the next one or two, um I think I think so after next week, if I'm back here, it's gonna be next week and I guess I'm gonna be talking to you guys about something. Yeah, maybe about, because maybe next week we'll be going on a road trip and if we do go on that road trip we'll take you guys along with me if, with us if we do go on that road trip if we don't go on that road trip guys after that starting at the 15th it's a launch of the company i'm with and um i'm going to be very busy i think i'm going to be working at least 18 hours a day maybe 24 hours um i'm going to believe the persons who get the least amount of sleep do achieve their dreams and their goals um i'm with a crypto based company i guess i'll never and a smart my, country no 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 i love to sleep ever <laughs> i'm sorry i love to sleep so i'll never achieve anything no the first the first the, no 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 for everybody different I, I think there's only one time i'm here i guess i'm gonna share a bit with you if she's allow me to about daisy which is the company um i'm with a smart contract and um how it works and how if you can achieve financial freedom through Daisy, um, not a get rich scheme, not a scam. You guys looking to get rich quick or a scam? Go somewhere else. As I, as, as, yeah. yeah, as I tell you guys, macro operate by eighteen hours of sleep. You understand? And if your ego is not bigger than your pride, so to speak, I've always this is a new saying I come up with a few weeks now. If your ego is not bigger than your pride, then you don't need to tune into the next video because you're telling my people not to do. Yeah, because, in, because because like, share, 
comment and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I mean, yeah, some people were just like, I mean, the get rich scheme thing or the, some foolishness like yeah. Wiseling or something like that. We well, shut down with too much people money and uh, like they're into things like that. They're not into, they don't want to put in the time to see the work. You understand? Okay, but if you don't tell them to tune in, how will they not know to try something different? All right, guys, different? come back next week, see what we're talking about, and we'll move forward from there. Um, until then, you guys have a wonderful day, and you know, see you when I see you. And don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I hope you like this week's video. And leave a comment in the box below and tell me what your your guys' worst date have been. All right. In fact, if you guys want me back within the time period when I said I'm not going to be here, give this video 200 likes, and I'll be back before the 15th of March or after the within that time period. All right. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye.